What do Q-tips, playing cards, compact discs, and this American Air Gunner hat have in common? The answer's coming up. If you haven't seen the American Air Gunner television show yet, go check it out. On episode 7, sponsored by FX Air Guns, there's a competition where contestants have to shoot a Q-tip at 75 yards, split playing cards at 50 yards, and then shoot through the center of a compact disc at 25 before, and this is only if they have enough pellets left over to do it, they can take a bonus shot at 75 yards to split a pellet on a razor blade to blow out two balloons at the same time. So here's our take on that challenge, Wisconsin Air Gunner style. So, Q-tips at 75 yards. Let's see what happens. There's one. Yep, that's hot. There's two. That was so close. There's three. <laughs> Still got a couple of shots left. So you can see that first one took a couple to figure out exactly where things were. That was the one on the right. The scope cam will reverse that. The uh, other two though, only took two shots each on those. So looks like I've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess that's one shot maybe. I don't know, taking seven or eight shots. And now, cards. So after the uh, Q-tips, I fired one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pellets. So now we're onto the cards. Let's see how this goes. I bet you there's a mark on the card from that. Oh my God, that's close. Yep. (laughs) 
God, I love this gun. <laughs> okay. All right, we got that one down. Here's the, uh, here's where the cards are. And you can see, once we hit complete splits, was so close on those first ones, they just didn't hit. But then, once I connected, right down the line. All right, next up, we're going through the compact disc holes. Stay tuned. All right, we're moving on to the compact discs. Even though they're closer, I think this is the, uh, this is the potentially hardest. I'm a little bit more than uh, halfway through my ammo at this point. This is only going to take three shots. They're either going to be there and perfect or they're not. So I guess we will find out, won't we? I think that one went through. I didn't see the disc move. That one's dead center. That was right in there. Did it. I got it. That was in there. Let's go look. So that was the last one. Perfect. That was the second one, perfect. And that was actually the first one, and you can see I clipped it. Took just that little bit of the edge out. So that's two out of three. So in the absence of a balloon, we are going to use these two soda cans and this razor blade for the bonus part of the challenge. And my theory is that it's either gonna split and we're going to see distinct marks on both cans or I'm going to miss and it's going to hit one or the other. We'll see how it turns out. Well we do have one thing to contend with that the folks on the show didn't have to contend with and that's wind and officially I think it's coming out of the southeast today which means it's coming around the house and shifting a little bit. So um, we're set up down there. We're just gonna go with it. I've got eight pellets in the gun right now. And this is a, a one and done, one shot deal. That's a negative. <laughs> we hit the, uh, hit the Diet Pepsi can on the right side. Let's go take a look. So we've got uh, no marks on the uh, razor blade, nothing on the Coke can, but uh, I was close because A little rip through. Look at how those were aligned. Just not enough for wind. Thought I had a dead spot and I held crosshairs and uh, must have been just a little bit of it. So no bonus points for me.